Right, this is the Alfred Herbert Art Gallery and Museum, okay? This is the main museum in Coventry, okay? It's only a small city, so you can't expect too much. Alfred Herbert's was a company that my parents worked for that made um, machinery, things like lathes and that kind of thing, you know? Basically, machines that would you could cut metal with and things like that, okay? And it was a very large company in this city until it went bankrupt. But nonetheless, they, the person who owned it had a, a museum and um, art gallery built. So here it goes, okay? If I'm asked to stop filming, I'll have to. This is the um, some paintings. It's probably too dark for you. Oh, of course. I hate this stupid thing. Okay, I can't have to stop and restart it. Okay, this is apparently an Indian sculpture. A sculpture of some sort of Indian that won a literature award, Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Prize or something. This is a sculpt this is a sculpture of Jacob Einstein, Epstein or whoever. This is um it's called Dreamer number two. This is apparently um Michelangelo was a boy. Emilio Zucchero studied in two sculpture academies. It's by Emilio Zucchero or something. This is a sculpture called Old Ladies on a Park Bench. This is one called Female Head. This is one called Yehudi Menuhi, who was apparently a violinist. So it's a statue of a violinist. Okay. This is one called Between Head. This is one called Two Torsos. These are some, um, I don't know what this is. It's called the Coventry Sculpture. Um, Oh, so it was actually commissioned especially for the opening of this museum in 1960. Maybe it reflected the life of the times. It says art since 1900. 
This is now another art gallery. I'm too lazy to read them all, so I just let you look at them. Okay, so this is apparently a photo of um, our former Prime Minister, um, Tony Blair, who isn't very popular nowadays because of Iraq, or rather the Iraq war he started, in simple terms, with George Bush. Okay, that's some of the pictures. Um, I'm going to have to stop this and start again because of the lighting. Okay, more paintings. I have to stop the lighting. This is a painting of the Coventry Cathedral ruins. Thank you. 
sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No idea what this is, but never mind. I'm going to end this now and I'll probably move on to carry on with another clip in a minute. Okay, these museum exhibits are about Coventry itself and Coventry through the years. That's an old telephone. what life used to be like in the past for people who lived here. This is one of the Herbert Laves. People used to make things using metal on it. something to do with aircraft. Okay, let's see anything else here. Seen that bit so the type of entertainment systems people had in the past. These were the sort of hi-fi systems of the day. Drum and a sitar, I think. <laughs> this would be a Coventry city of oh, Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea. Oh, yeah. Right, this is when um, Coventry won the FA Cup, which it was the highest um, football league in Britain, basically. It's only ever won it once, and it will probably never win it again. Nobody could believe it at the time when they won. It was like a miracle or something, and it will probably never happen again.
This was an anti-government um, poster of the time. This was the CND, which was a campaign against nuclear weapons. Came back to work as a, you know, as a married. So made me jump. The pay at the GEC wasn't very good. So this I is an old star pram. Myself. So I went to work, uh, work for the Armstrong Sidley. I had a good job there. Some magazines from the past, eight apparently. Eight a week. And even when my husband came out the army and went back to work, I was still there. I went to work. There some sort of women's magazines. It just opened up. They wanted. This is apparently a wedding dress for Indians or people like that. It has been worn in Coventry by some of the Indian community. I think it's Indians or maybe Pakistanis. I'm not an expert on the difference, truthfully, but um. But Mom stayed at home and looked after their families. My husband was a 13th person for In Britain, most people get married in white, but apparently in Indians or people from that region apparently get married in red. No idea what these cups are. Okay, I'm repeating myself. Oh. Okay, these aren't exhibits, these are just um, where you find out more about it. <laughs> I thought strange exhibits. This is around a hospital that was built in Coventry. Ended again. Some more, some more watch exhibits. Some watch exhibits, I mean. These were known as pocket watches. No idea what this is about. Oh, it's children at play. Some more old clothes, some old clothing. This is an abacus, I believe. Okay. 
different kinds of cloth. This is a fire arrow head, no idea what they mean. Maybe it's just something that was used in a bow and arrow or something. Pilgrims apparently. Okay. Oh wait a minute. This is a choir stall. This is an old grandfather clock. I'll repeat that's called a grandfather clock. This is what rich women look like in the past. These were some bikes. Another life, as I told you. I think I've shown these before, but that was an old television. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave this part now. Okay, this is the Lady Godiva painting with her. This is a famous Lady Godiva legend of a woman riding naked on a horse to support the poor. Some people think it didn't actually really happen quite like that. Another picture of Lady Godiva. This time showing part of her boobs. I don't know if she really looked like this. Or... I don't know if it would be guesswork. A statue of Lady Godiva. Of a painting of Lady Godiva. Mm. 
read you from the various processions. Okay, stopping it now.